Hey there, welcome to Prog Monster. My name is Murph, I am the host of this show, a show dedicated to progressive rock, hard rock, heavy metal, and other forms of rock music. Today it's my strange fascination, episode number 14, The Everly Brothers. And Grace is back here, watching over me too, make sure I'm good. Oh, sorry, wrong side. Hi, Grace. Anyways done an episode on this particular album yeah, if you want you can go back and look at my live collection that's in there uh, Everly Brothers so how far back do the Everly Brothers go well I'd probably go back to the 70s when my dad was playing an episode of I don't even know what show it was some music show could have been Johnny Cash show or it might have been um, Hee Haw or something like that and they had the Mercy Brothers doing Dream On. And I always thought they did it. And then my dad said, no, it was done by these guys, the Everly Brothers. So that was my first catch to the Everly Brothers. Later, um, they were kind of, I, I kind of listened to them quite a bit in the, uh, before I got into Kiss. They were one of those bands from the 50s that I liked to listen to. Um, some of their stuff, not all of it, but some of it. Uh, certainly, uh, Wake Up Little Susie and Bye Bye Love and a few songs like that that were fairly well known to me. And I liked their vocal harmonizing. I liked I liked that stuff. Um, so by the time Kiss came around and then once the rock hit the scene, they were pretty much dead with me. I didn't really listen to them much until maybe in my mid-twenties when I was uh, with a friend and he decided hey, hey why don't we put down like a vocal cord for this show that we're that I'm gonna do I need a, a, a another vocalist and so you can be that guy is it me he says yeah all you got to do is play the straight part and I'll play the highs and the lows and so we sang the song Dream On at this thing and uh, it was a big hit, everybody loved it. I was surprised, I actually I uh, didn't know that I could sing in front of people, I thought I'd be too nervous, but I did okay, I did okay. So anyways, the Everly Brothers got me into thinking about that and uh, about musicianship and all that kind of stuff. So um, yeah, they were a big influence there. And then, you know, throughout the years I've been listening to their stuff off and on and I've always, uh, I've always liked the two of them. I've always liked the, the vocal harmonies, and uh, I don't really consider them rock, although they are rock. Uh, to me, they're more like like country, like somewhere along country or country, rockabilly, somewhere like that. So I never, I never really thought of them as a rock duet. Although you know, some of their songs are definitely rocky. Um, and uh, each each and since I've been back into this uh, doing this uh, channel I discovered this album and I like this album quite a bit I've listened to it a few times and did a video on it they've appeared in some of my other uh, stuff as well so uh, they're a duet that has had a long fairly long extensive history with me so I like to think of them as being the tie to the 50s an era that I like quite a bit and they bring me back. Even when uh, a few years ago I went with uh, my girlfriend to um, Gettysburg. We went to Gettysburg for the War Museum and all of the the battle that took place there. And and the whole time I was there, I kept thinking about these guys. I don't know why. Um, you know, we, we went into a store. I was looking for a CD by them, and I never did find it. But they just to me, they just tie themselves to that era very well. And I enjoy lots of stuff that happened in the 50s. Um, anyways, uh, great, great duet. Um, it's unfortunately they're gone, but you know, it's gonna happen to us all someday. So there you have it. My strange fantasy for today, the Everly Brothers, Phil and Don. May you rest in peace. And uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I much appreciate it. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye.